So what can we do? So what can we do? Every single person in this country needs to wear a mask. And masks protect the wearer as well as the rest of the community. So if you wear a mask, it reduces the inoculum size so that you're much more likely to have an asymptomatic or no infection at all. So it's absolutely critical to break the cycle. Everyone wears a mask. And you can see what happened in New York City. The most effective way of combating the outbreak in New York City was a face covering. It's a simple strategy and people get used to wearing a mask. And it's very important because the treatment differs dramatically. So you have your incubation phase, which is about five days. It can be up to 14 days. Some people will then go on to the symptomatic phase. About 20% of people are asymptomatic. People then go into the symptomatic phase with fever, cough, headache, and malaise. As I said before, viral replication is greatest before the onset of symptoms. Once you become symptomatic, you get rapid decrease in viral replication. You then go to the pulmonary phase. You have a viral graveyard of viral body parts. You have viral body parts, and the host responds to these viral parts. And as you'll see, it's not the virus that kills the host. It's the host. You have fever for about 12 days, so the top column or or in people who survive, the bottom hatched column is people who die. So fever about 12 days, cough about 18 days. Then you have this window, and this becomes really important. So people, some people actually think they're getting better. So on about day six or seven or eight, people develop respiratory symptoms. So you have this window, and what then happens is you get shortness of breath. As we know, some patients actually may not be short of breath when they have pulmonary involvement. They're the so-called happy hypoxics, but really it's silent hypoxemia. So you have lung involvement on a 